Are you excited? We are. It's Fan Friday! Say it's too darn hot to do Fan Friday outside, so we're gonna do it inside. Underneath the fan, right? Underneath the fan. Maybe I should open the window and get some light in here. In here. First question is from Tai Chinky. I don't know if I pronounced that right. <laughs> she wants to know, what vacation spots do you plan on taking Shiloh and Shelby and Oakley to this year? Um, we haven't actually picked our big vacation spot yet this year. I'm sure it'll be up north in the UP somewhere. We'll be hiking back to some waterfalls, going to see something cool. But we haven't actually decided quite where yet. Craig wants to know, would you ever adopt another breed of dog? Um, I would consider a Malamute. I would also consider an American Eskimo or a Samoyed. Um, if one came available and we were looking for a dog, I might consider one of those breeds. Definitely would have to stay in with the northern breeds, though. I would adopt another husky if Jamie would let me. <laughs> Tyler wants to know, how do huskies act around small animals? I have a ferret and I'm thinking of getting a husky. Shelby would probably um, think that the ferret was a toy and not be too nice with it. Oakley, I'm thinking the same thing. She definitely likes to chase small things in the yard. Shiloh would probably be okay. Um, to answer that as huskies in general, huskies in general have a very high prey drive, so you gotta be really careful. Um, you might be better off if you look at rescues, and some of them will let you know if they're good with small animals or good with cats or things like that. So if you check into a rescue, you might be able to find one that'll be good with them. Otherwise, you're taking a chance because they, they do have a pretty high prey drive, unless they're Shiloh. Shiloh doesn't really have a high prey drive. <laughs> Kenneth wants to know, what's the best way to manage shedding for a husky? Um, you can see how well we manage it. That's from Shelby just from yesterday. Um, brush them constantly, vacuum constantly, and when it comes to coat blowing time, just deal with it. <laughs> Ash and Sean from Facebook both asked me if I had any tips I could give them about getting their dogs to go to the bathroom outside rather than inside. I think one was a three month old and one was a six month old. Um, they said they're having a real hard problem with the dog going to the bathroom outside. I don't really know exactly how to fix this. I'm not a trainer, but here's a suggestion. Try going and getting some of those potty pads. You can buy them at, you know, like Walmart or Kmart and taking those outside with you. And when the dog goes to the bathroom on the potty pads outside, reward them and continue doing that repetitively. And eventually the dog hopefully will associate going outside and going to the bathroom with being rewarded. And then you'll be able to take the potty pads away and hopefully the dog will go to the bathroom outside. I would try that. Other than that, I'm not really sure. I never really had that issue with my girls. If anybody has any suggestions for these two, you can post them in the comments or go to our Facebook page and post them on there. And Maybe somebody else knows the answer. Micah, who is a new fan of ours, says that he's wondering, since Shiloh is already 10 years old, do you notice any differences in her? I'm assuming you mean from when she was a puppy to now. Um, Shiloh's personality has pretty much always been what you guys see. She's always been a very relaxed, very calm dog. She has her playful spurts every once in a while, but for the most part, she's happy doing just this. Are you sleeping? Are you, oh, am I waking your beauty sleep? Is that, I'm sorry, are you the queen and I'm waking you up? Um, your fans wanna say hi to you, Shy. <laughs> oh, yeah, for the most part, Shiloh's personality, she's very laid back, she's very calm. She's just an all around sweet, sweet girl, aren't ya? You're the sweetest out of all three of them. She's the queen too, she always gets her way. Sorry, you two, but she does, she always gets her way. In the mail today, we got a package from Alaska. It is from Karen, and I know I'm going to say this name wrong. Arthas? <laughs> Look at how cute. Look at, it's Alaska! Look, it's Alaska! How cool is that, huh? Uh, Arthas is a two-year-old Malamute mix. And they sent us treats from Alaska. Look at that. And they're salmon treats. And I have to tell you guys, Shiloh loves salmon treats. I used to get her some from uh, the pet store in Gaylord. And she absolutely loves them. So I'm going to open these up and give them to him. So hold on just a second. Hold on. Oh, if only you guys had smell-o-vision. Those smell so good. They smell like fishy treats. Fishy treats. I don't know if Oakley's ever had a salmon treat. Oh, 
You can't get, you can't jump on me. You can't. You have the gentlest paws when you step on people. It's funny. Get down. Get down or you're not getting one. Get down. Get down. Okay. Shiloh gets one first. There you go. There's one for Oakley and one for Shelby. We opened up the jerky style ones first. Gee, I think they like them considering they're pretty much gone already. Shiloh is a slow chewer. No, you can't have another one. You ruin your dinner. Was it good, Shy? Can you say thank you? Thanks for sending those. All the way from Alaska. Check that out. One day we'll visit Alaska, right? <laughs> and we also got this letter with the beautiful picture of Isis from Patrick. And Patrick sent us some dog treats from a local bakery in Indianapolis. Um, but since I just gave the girls some dog treats from the first package, I'm going to save these for later. Uh, thank you, Patrick. We appreciate it. And Isis is absolutely beautiful. Isis is a husky chow mix. That's all we have for Fan Friday today, you guys. Thanks for watching, and if you're still hot and looking for a way to cool down your dogs, check out the video we uploaded on Monday if you missed it. It's a video on how to make frozen treats for the dogs. Kind of like Frosty Paws. You like them. They all like them, don't they? Thanks for watching, you guys. Keep cool, and we'll see you on Monday. Don't forget, if you guys would like to send us anything in the mail, our P.O. Box address is Gone to the Snow Dogs, P.O. Box 12, Alpena, Michigan, 49707. And if you have questions for Fan Friday, you can leave them on our Facebook page or on our Twitter page, which are listed on the screen. Thanks for watching, you guys.